It's time for me to visit my old friends Dave and Leslie. They own this bar, Cork and Stogie, some of the best cigars in the world. Every week they have a pilot from the Dominican Republic to fly down these cigars. Come on in. Hi guys, I'm back. Hi Leslie. Hi Dave. Hi John. How you doing? Good to see you. Well, you know what? I came by. I heard you had one of the best Dominican cigars in town. I do. Absolutely. Let me show you. called the Piros Reynoso. I'm mm -hmm. the only one in town that carries those, the only one in the country that carries those, actually. Wow. Okay. I have not flown in by a Dominican Air Force pilot. You know, I've had a few cigars, and everybody talks about a Cuban cigar, but we already know that it's it's illegal to have Cuban cigars That's here. Correct. Now, how does this compare to the quality of a, maybe a Cuban cigar? This is originally Cuban seed when his okay. grandfather left Cuba, took the t tobacco to, uh, took the seed to Dominican, mm -hmm. and has grown that seed for a number of years, since 1937. With a passion for cigars most of his life, and the taste of good wine doesn't hurt either, Dave and Leslie set out on a venture to share this love. It just kind of came together when we decided to move down to Key West. We looked for uh, opportunities to start a business, and, and it, just seemed, it just seemed right, cigars and wine. So. Do you think you could live anywhere else? Now that you ask that question, mm -hmm. you, know, you think about it. Um, I haven't even thought about living anywhere else since we moved down here. So. Originally from Columbus, Ohio, a true Midwestern import, he adapted very nicely to the Key West lifestyle. 